Good morning. It is graduation morning. <laughs> I've got five people in this house that are like zombies, and I barely slept last night, so. Oh, I just couldn't sleep well. But, um, I don't know if we're having a graduation outside. They said we are, but it rained so bad last night. And I might wear different shoes, which is so sad. I'd rather do that than ruin my Jordans. My stomach's killing me, but I can't use the bathroom. And oh, it's all right now, so let's get ready. Coronation day. It's coronation day. The sky's awake. The sky's so awake. I'm awake. So I'm awake. Ready for my graduation? I'm ready to eat some. Oh, oh you can get some. What? Graduation? Graduation. Graduation. Are you dressed? Wait, that actually looks nicely. That came out. Are nice. you ready for my graduation? Yar, oh my god, you're so old. Going to the chapel next. and we're oh wait. Gonna get married. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. That song oh. reminds me of um what's their name? Harry and Megan. I don't yeah. know who that is. I don't know who they are. Good girl family. Harry and Megan. Sure. Prince Harold. I've been up since five. My head hurts. We have I'm been up hungry. since like what time did we first sleep like? Graduation? Oh yes. T minus 30 minutes? So we go where? An hour? It's T minus two hours. Two four oh, hours. An hour and a half? We're graduating. Alright, are you ready to graduate? Alright, do you look at your cap? Look at your cap. Look at my cap. No cap? Is this on the wrong? No. Mm. I'm Turn sweating. It right it's really hot. I have all my stuff finally on. I have my tassel on. And my headphones tied. And it's all stuff. And I'm going to line it up with my hair. Because I need to make sure it's all straight. Because I'm not going to get my hair straight. Because I'm going to get my hair straight. I'm not. Oh, why well, you got to get a speech? Uh, a speech that I found out about yesterday. I'm about to read it right now. Uh, my cap. Jalen. Playing jetpack joyriders for. Can you stop hitting my head? Jesus Christ! No, I don't. Anyways, we've been playing jetpack joyriders for the last half hour. It's about 9:30. I think I'm supposed to sing today, but they didn't sound check me as they were supposed to. So. Love it here. Ah. Ah. Don't just don't start it from the speech. That'd be hard. Fun fact about this clip. Stay tuned to the end if you want to hear the speech. I'm going to include the whole speech. But I'm going to put it all the way at the end. Um, I might put the bloopers before. Actually, I might put bloopers after the speech. But anyways, little story time. So my family was sitting like on the field. But then there was my other friends that were in the bleachers. And my one friend almost fought his grandmother the person i'm sitting next to that i practiced the speech with he was like you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine because she was like she could have practiced first i thought out about the speech like literally the day before i got an email to me the day before but anyways <laughs> enjoy continue <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot going this is, on. A, a lot's going on. We're trying to get in order. We're just on the news. Um, yeah, and, and it's unorganized. He interviewed me. As you should. Um, I have a speech that I didn't know about until yesterday, so I'm so serious. <laughs> Yay! Scholarships. The Frank G. and Petro Memorial Award. This is presented to a presented to a senior who has made exceptional contributions to the school and community. This student must also be the child of a Roxborough High School alum, Angelina Petit. Yeah, twin. Yeah, twin. All right, moving on to our school academic awards. Finally, our excellence in art is presented to the senior who has shown the most exemplary commitment and growth in art. This is presented to Angelina Petit. Woo! Scholarship winner, 4000 Angelina Petit. <laughs> <laughs> This video is hectic and everywhere, just like graduation was. We didn't even know if we were going to be able to graduate outside because the air quality was so bad. And I forgot that happened because, like, air quality was just horrible because of the wildfires in Canada. But anyways, 
thank you guys for watching this far i hope you enjoyed the video at the end there's a few bloopers if you really want to watch that far be my guest you're almost there but if you like the video please like subscribe if you want to see more of my face i'm about to move into college so all those videos are gonna go up and then when i'm like done college and can give advice i'll give college advice videos because i'm watching so many of them right now because i'm about to go i have no clue what i'm in for but i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe bye guys Great pleasure to introduce our class of 2023 commencement speaker, <laughs> Senator Vincent J. Hughes. <laughs> Senator Hughes is one of Pennsylvania's leading legislative advocates, a fight for education and equity. He works locally and nationally in efforts to rebuild public school <laughs> infrastructures around the state and around the nation. Senator Hughes was the legislative leader of Pennsylvania's Promise Initiative, a statewide effort to provide free colleges for state re residents. As a part of his mission to provide, fam to provide families with increased support to make higher education more affordable, he also partnered with the state treasurer, co-authored legislation to that established the Keystone Scholar Program. This initiative creates college creates a college savings fund for every newborn child in Pennsylvania. Senator Hughes, Hughes is heavily involved in the rebirth of Cheney University. He serves as a member, as a member of the Council of Trustees at Cheney University and is working with academic, business, and philanthropists. Leaders to propel the institution forward. He and his family have established the James Hughes Memorial Scholarship in honor of his late father. To date, the fund has awarded more than one million in college scholarships to students who challenge circumstances who challenge who are, who are talented and want to make a difference. Through his work, he has all over his work. He has been all over Pennsylvania, the U.S., and around the world. Senator Hughes remains extremely dedicated to the progress of his 7th Senatorial District, which comprises parts of Philadelphia, Montgomery County. He is a member of Mount Carmel Baptist Church and is supported by his loving wife, actress, entertainer, and activist, Cheryl Lebo, and their blended family of four children. With respect to Roxborough High School, Senator Hughes co-sponsored the $500,000 grant to upgrade the camera system. He also launched the red carpet premiere of the Philly Ghost College campaign right here at Roxborough. Beyond this, he offered slots for three interns of, for Roxborough for the summer. Please stand and give him a warm and, warm and hearty welcome to Senator Vincent J. Hughes. Thank you. Thank you. Where'd they go at? Where are they? They must have fell down in a hole or something.